What is going on everyone? I am here in San Jose, Costa Rica. Had to come here for a few days to update my visa. It's a 90 day visa in Nicaragua, so every 90 days you have to leave the country. I think you can get an extension and pay more, but uh, I came here with a friend, so we are visiting a few places, uh, so it worked out to come here. But I've been here for a few days already, actually. We were staying in an Airbnb, my first Airbnb, actually, uh, in the neighborhood of San Pedro, about two blocks from the San Pedro Mall. It's like two houses. It was kind of a weird setup, actually. One house was the main living house where the people lived in, and then the second was an art studio with like a tattoo parlor and a couple studios for arts, and we were in a room upstairs there. So there was a lot of art around, um, a little yoga studio with little cardboard people that scared me every time I walked past the corner. But right now we are actually on our way to one of the main parks here. I think it's called Parque Sabana. It's a really big park here, kind of in the center of San Jose, and it's where the National Soccer Stadium is. Uh, so we're gonna take a look, see what is going on there. So we just made it to the park here. It's called, I think, Savannah Park, Parque Savannah, something like that. It's like on the west side of San Jose. We were staying in a neighborhood called San Pedro. It's on the west side. It was like a five kilometer walk. We were gonna walk it, but we made it about one kilometer and it was a little bit too hot. So we took a bus the rest of the way. It's actually pretty hot, but definitely less hot than in Nicaragua. And at night it feels really nice. It's actually a little bit chilly at night if you don't have like a sweatshirt or anything like that. So the temperature here is definitely a little bit more pleasant than in Leon. So we've been here for a few days and we've actually been hanging out mostly with some family friends of the friend that I came with. And they live in San Rafael. It's like a neighborhood kind of on the outskirts of San Jose. But it was definitely a lot of fun. The family that we were with is super friendly. They're super generous. They fed us, let us stay there for the night. San Rafael is a little bit up, uh, kind of as you're going up the mountains a little bit. San Jose is kind of surrounded by mountains. So a lot of the neighborhoods that are kind of on the outskirts of the city are kind of up in the mountains a little bit. So there's a little bit cooler temperatures and we actually went for a ride, went higher up into the mountains to check out some of the areas there. So it gets a lot chillier as you go higher up. There was clouds everywhere and we checked out, there was tons of fincas, lots of like farms, lots of cows. That's where a lot of the cheese and creams and dairy products are made. But yeah, the first day I was there, I went and checked out a soccer game, hung out with one of the guys. He kind of showed me around. He had a soccer game, so I watched that. They played that on the local neighborhood soccer field. And then after that, he showed me around the area a little bit. We went and saw the main church in the city, which was really cool, kind of an old fashioned architecture. It looked like the architecture where they have like the gargoyles, kind of the dark uh, architecture, but it was really neat to walk through the church and get to see that. Then we went and saw a view of the city from up in the mountains. It was pretty cloudy, so you couldn't get a great view, but I'm sure when it's not cloudy, and I've heard at night as well, when you can see all the lights, it's a really nice view. Then we went up a little bit higher. There's a really big cross. It's apparently one of the biggest crosses, I don't know, in, in the area. And then we just hung out there for the night. Didn't do anything too crazy at night, just relaxed and ate. And then the next morning we got up and we went to the market uh, with the family. It was really neat. There's a huge tent and tons of fruits and vegetables and different things being sold. And then after that, I actually went and played soccer with the family and some of their friends in the local indoor soccer facility. So we played like five on five in an indoor soccer facility that's I think part of the elementary or high school there in San Rafael. But that was a lot of fun. I haven't played soccer in a while, so I definitely felt uh, out of shape. Soccer is kind of the main sport here in Costa Rica, so everybody's pretty good at playing soccer. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. We got back last night and just kind of relaxed. It was a long day, so I was pretty tired. But today we got up pretty early and went and got some breakfast. And now obviously we're at the park. I think 
there is a lake maybe and I'd like to see the stadium where the national soccer team plays as well so we're gonna explore around a little bit and uh, see what the park looks like All right, so we've been walking around for a little while, exploring the park a little bit. We're here at one of the playgrounds. The park has lots of playgrounds, lots of soccer fields. There's a lake, a decent amount of people selling food and snacks, things like that. Uh, but it's a really nice park, really clean, lots of stuff to do. Great place to come and go for a run or play soccer or just relax. It's actually really calm right now. There's not many people, uh, but that's probably because it is like midday on a Monday. San Jose and Costa Rica in general is definitely a beautiful, city and country. Lots of nature, mountains. The weather is actually really nice. Like I said before, it, it's a little bit hot now, but it's kind of midday and I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt because it was a little chilly in the morning. One of the few things that is a little bit of a bummer are the prices. The, the food prices are a little bit high, uh, especially coming from Nicaragua where the prices are super cheap. So I did spend more than I wanted. I was planning on cooking, but the kitchen in the Airbnb was actually a little bit different setup than I thought it would be so didn't end up cooking there we actually went to Subway last night and I th it was almost $20 for I got a foot long a six inch sub and two waters and it was like $20 so expensive and it wasn't even like extra meat or anything like that it's just the prices here are pretty steep uh, but other than that great city to visit, great city to hang out in. Um, we are going to probably explore around for just a little bit more and then we are actually going to another city. I can't remember the name of the city, but uh, it's like an hour outside of San Jose, apparently a little bit higher up in the mountains, so a little bit cooler temperatures. We are probably gonna leave, like I said, here shortly and then spend the next day or two there before coming back here to take a bus, the Tika bus, back to Nicaragua. So I will end the video here, but as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.